and I'm back. Um, let's play another round. Well, let's do Ironclad. You passed your permit test. Uh, like driving? Congrats. All right, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do Ironclad this time. This is the warrior type. Really good as far as strength and armor goes. Uh, if I sub to the Twitch, or the, I mean, if you sub to the Twitch, you won't see him anymore. Uh, stay silent so people will come back and think the audio is broken. Uh, yeah, that that'd be good. All right. Well, I'm glad this is helping me. Let's go with Ironclad this time, just because I want to show the other class. There's supposedly going to be a third class at some point. Uh, reach the boss to get my blessing. I did. I did last time, bro. I brosif. I did. All right, we're going to go this route. You probably know the answer, Rev, but which do you like more? Slay the Spire or Into the Breach? Into the Breach hasn't caught my... Like, I, I'm not in love with it yet. I'm in love with this game. The third character does not exist yet, as far as I know. Um, Ironclad is a warrior, really high on armor, uh, strength gain, and gaining vulnerability on your opponent. Vulnerability uh, makes it so that way they take 50% 50 50 more damage, uh, which is, is solid, but it's not enough to like kill someone with, but it's really good if you get a little bit extra. Um... Have I played Magic the Gathering? I used to play a uh, black-white heal deck. I used to play tournaments of uh, Magic the Gathering, but that was back w during like 8th um, edition or so. And Scourge and Onslaught and stuff. Mirrodin. I came back for whatever the one with the Eldrazi was. But I didn't really care for it. I've never played a deck with Anger. Um, Rupture seems awful. Shrug Off is, is fine. I think just gaining armor and drawing cards is always a good combination. Anger is good. I've never actually tried it, so I don't know. Um, you can go infinite with it. Uh, I don't know how you draw the extra cards. Do I know Vinny? Yes. That's why I'm part of the Vine Sauce team. Remove a card from your deck. Get rid of a defend because we just got a defend card. Don't say that, Mafa. He might actually believe you. All right, we can go to the shop. I don't feel like we got enough money to justify it yet. Let's go ahead and get rid of an attack. Rupture is super good if you can get brutality. I guess. I think that combos with itself, doesn't it? Cool. That's a good start. Um, do I think I can handle an elite right now? Skinnied out the deck quite a bit. That's good. If I go this way, I'm gonna hit some shit. And I don't know if I made uh, suicide ironclad. Here we go. We haven't really gotten to that yet. Oh, fuck. I could really use the relic, but I think I'm gonna skip it right now. Um, and go for uh, probably some healing. And then, I don't really want to mill through this. Pretty much guarantees that I'll get uh, all four of those cards uh, as my hand next turn. This is a nice thing about having a skinny deck, is you know exactly what you're going to get each turn. Uh, the less cards in your deck, the more likely you have what you actually want. One card in a 30 card deck is a 1 in 30 chance. One card in a 3 card deck is a 1 in like what 33 percent chance deck like that's yeah that's that's good knowing exactly what you're getting every single time is amazing especially if that ends up being great um rupture brutality and either limit break or demon form is a good combo i haven't seen that combo yet i i pretty much have stuck with the combos that i've realized work uh flame barrier is good clash is good armaments i feel like is overrated like 
very overrated because you're probably going to want to upgrade all your cards anyway. Flame Barrier is good conditionally if you're going with an armor deck because it gives you Thorn Aura. Clash is good if you're not going an armor deck and you're going all in. Don't give a shit if I live or die. Just smack that dude in the face with what I can. It looks like we're going for an armor deck right now. Alright. I should try and give my, like, opinion right off the bat, I guess. Seems like we're going tank. So right here, we can just uh, tank through this, and they're both going to take three damage, four damage from this. Tank is not a bad decision. What's my relic? It's a uh, heal every two, or a heal at the end of combat six. All right, that allows me to defend past most of it. I'm going to slap that guy for that and armor past it. If I can actually go through this combat without taking damage, I'm mostly at full. Uh, hoping for early barricade is probably okay. If you don't get barricade, you're fine with this build, even still. I'm going to not hit that guy, even though he's really low. And the reason is that he's only at three or two health, so um, he's, he's going to die. Pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, that guy was a little on the fence. Uh, True Grit is good upgraded, otherwise it's kind of shit. Keeps your deck nice and lean, so you can always get what you want. Flame Barrier, we already have. Uh, it's a good card. Cleave is okay. It's conditionally good, but if someone else has Thorn, it's... Hmm. Skip is an okay choice here as well. I think if you're new to this... Choosing either to skip or picking cards we already have is good because if we have three copies of the same card in a four card deck, that's a 75% chance that we're getting that card. And the same is true in a bigger deck, right? Ooh, nice. Now I just need to get some powers to make that worth it. A lot of powers make our deck free. Alright, we can, uh. Hmm. 12 or 10. Let's go 12. 12 is more than 10. That's some good math for you. I really want to do a, a, a speed run with Vinny. Like not a speed run, a race with Vinny in this game. Um, knowing that this has t like Twitch integration now, means that there could be some serious trolling with that, but yeah. Oh, fuck. Forgot to defend some. We're gonna take some damage. I messaged him about it, but I don't think he saw my message, so. Draw into, man. Uh, part of making this game good is, is I mean, just streaming in general is moving f quick. Vulnerable, by the way, makes it so they take 50% more damage. Weak means they do 25% less. Uh, and then Perfected Strike is okay. I don't know how many cards. We got four strikes. So four times two is eight. Eight plus six, uh, 14. This card does 14, this card does weak and... This one is much more chill. The more people you have, there are people who are influenced by the effect of trolling. And then there are people who will troll, and then there are people who won't troll. Um, regret is not that bad. Oh, that's beautiful. With this deck, just constantly having thorns, Really solid choice. Am I confident in the size of my deck? Yeah. I mean, that's an obvious choice. Uh, that combos well with both of my... Like, all of the things I've got going on right now. So I'm just going to do that. Um, now I remove the curse. I think you're right. And is there anything else we can afford that we want to afford? Exhaust one card, draw two cards. I think we're okay. 
I'm just gonna choose the number I have faith in. That sounds good. Alright. Metallicize. Defend is free. Defend again. And then attack. Because the mummy's hand powers... Every time I play a power, I get a free card. It's gonna, that's gonna really work in our favor if we choose a lot of power. So if you see a power, it might be worth doing. Um, I blocked out all of the damage. I'm gonna slam him for damage. So good. That's so good. Oh yeah, bitch, you wanna come? You wanna, you wanna hit me? Go for it, bitch. Come on, come at me. Come at me, bitch. <laughs> so good. So good. I realized what I said after I said it. Please, chat, let this go. Great Zot, welcome back. 21 months of support. Many defenses happening. Many defenses happening. Barricade, Body Slam would be great. Body Slam would be uh, amazing right now. 8 plus 3 is uh, more than 10. So that's enough, and then I can... I'm a spiky fire turtle now. I guess that's our play right now. So good. Just not even worry about it. It's better to just like armor through this, I think. Time to turtle. It's turtle time! Alright. Uh. Fire breathing? I don't know. Fuck this. Skip is probably the best one, honestly. Like. All of these cards are not really what we're doing. The only real advantage to fire breathing is that it's a, a power, which I guess synergizes with Mimey Hand, which means that we get one ability for free. But skipping means we don't have garbage in our deck. Uh, if you want to know, uh, you can always uh, go and check the Slay the Spire wiki. And... Um, You can check out the cards that are available. Um, I have all of them, so we have the chance to get all of them. So if you see a card that looks good and would be in good in this deck, kind of remember the name. Cleave is really not in synergy with this deck, in my opinion. Flame Barrier, get fucked. Take seven. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. What now, bitch? What now? Seven. I'm gonna try and kill these guys at roughly the same time so I don't take a shit ton of damage from it. Um, there we go. Because they give you vulnerable when they die. Something special about that enemy. Body slam all the way. Body slam is amazing. Um, we're getting like 30 armor a turn. If we get 30 armor and then play body slam, we do 30 damage. I can just not play attacks and then play one body slam and one shot, guys. That's an amazing choice right now. Um... The others just don't really compare. It's just body slam at this point. Especially if we upgrade it, which just makes it free. Offering is okay, but I, I feel like it's only, it's like circumstantial. We're doing an armor deck. 
Uh, we're upgrading that immediately. We have full health. There's no reason not to. Free body slams. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So good. Uh, well, I did that out of order. What the fuck is order? Don't really understand what's going on here. Um, it's fine. That's what I guess we chose, so there we go. We're going to take 15 here. Jesus, what are you doing to yourself? Stop hitting yourself. Take 23. This is going great. Take 25. Taking some damage, that's fine. I don't know why we did 25 there. Oh, it's because he's got the uh, vulnerability still. All right. Extra body slams or a dual wheel would be great. Uh, extra armor would be great as well. Uh, armor. And then bash just to get him weakened again. We're going to take some damage here. But so is he. I like the guys that like to attack you a whole bunch of times for like very little damage each strike. Because that's really fucking funny. Especially when you have thorns going. Um, so we're going to block all of that. So I'm going to attack. Because that's better. Uh, is this Hearthstone combined with a regular RPG? It's uh, Hearthstone combined with a uh, roguelike RPG. Yes. Armor, block all eight. We can do five. Uh, bash, then do five, because then we do seven. What is this deck even? Armor. This deck is armor. Armor. Get fucked. <laughs> I mean, it didn't do anything, but we might as well. It's unfortunate. Four health. I should have done the, the classy end where I let him kill himself. All right. Incoming good card. Alright. Bludgeon is really dumb, but it's good. Just straight up 32 damage. Berserk is not going to be a thing, and I don't recommend it, because I'm not going to be ever be at below 50% health. Uh, Exhum, what do we even have that will exhaust? I mean, I don't know what the fuck to do with this. I don't think this is a good choice. I mean, like, even with that boss, we're at 45 health. We're not gonna, we're not gonna need Berserk, guys. Um... I think skip or bludgeoned or exhume mate. What did, what did we end up getting there? Bludgeon. Okay. It's a dumb card, but it's a fun one. Uh, ectoplasm. You can no longer gain gold. Uh, you can no longer obtain potions. I think I showed how good potions are. And then astrolab. Transform three cards and then upgrade them. Uh, so basically we'd pick three cards and get rid of them. Probably strikes because we might get more defense. Just go all in on that idea. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Thanks. Alright. Let's pick some things to get rid of. Any of this not good? I think strikes are what we want to get rid of. Disarm. Okay, what was that? Disarm. Okay. Uh, we don't have any way of gaining strength right now, so that just does 14. Um, and then pummel strike. I mean, that's, that's alright. They're good replacements. Just straight up more damage than what we were doing with those cards, so I guess it's all right. Um, uh, 
come. All right, I feel pretty confident, so I feel like I want to run myself into as many elites as possible. And I think that's this left route. Um, might be good to hit up a shop or two. We can actually do that by going on the, the right side here. Branch to the shop, then hit all the uh, guys along the way. Probably could have done more damage there, but it wouldn't have done a whole lot. Who needs strength when you have 500 armor? I know, right? Uh, and then bludgeoned is free, which is hilarious and an unintentional side effect, but all right. And then uh, pummel. And uh, we'll just gain some armor. Yeah, why not? Thoughts on the upcoming expansion of uh, this or uh, Hearthstone? If you mean Hearthstone, I don't give a shit. Uh, on this, I have not read it. Um, God, we're just making this guy look easy, but this guy normally just shreds my shit. Just like, he's in my shit and he's just shredding it. Um, just slap him, I guess. Free bludgeoned is amazing. I'm a fan of that. I can do math. Body slam, body slam, body slam. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, so get rid of all my blocks. Block is now free. Corruption's only good if you have the stick. I would say body slam. Um, if you have the stick that allows you to replace exhausted cards whenever you exhaust one, that's great. When you don't, not so much. Uh, Second Wind is not for this deck. Get him the stick. Two plus two equals four. Minus two is three. What? Yeah, second wind is for clash decks, that's for sure. Uh, just... Alright, cryptic writings. You mean a thing that could totally fuck up our deck? Let's, let's risk it. Open the book and we get... At the end of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to shuffle into your draw pile. I wonder what that's gonna do with the, the meta. These guys will be fucking hilarious. Um, shockwave. You now do no damage. Feel free attacking into me, though. Um, feed. Sure. I'll take some feeds. Necronomicon can be pretty brutal. Oh, God. That did damage to him, but not me. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. Um... And I do, like, considerably less damage. Um, damn it. Uh, ah! Yeah. Yeah, but it's sad and disappointing. That's eh, all right for this, because I know I don't have that many upgraded cards, but I wouldn't actually want to keep it in my deck. Two damage instead. Yeah, that's all right. Um, and then you can just kill yourself on me, I guess. Does that shuffle it in my deck? Oh, good. Oh, he killed himself on me though. Oh. Mm. Clash is not good for this deck. Clash is the exact opposite of what this deck is. Uh, flex is okay. Uh, skip is probably all right here. I'd like other ways of gaining strength. Um, 
Strength makes you do one extra damage. Uh, a wound is a, a bullshit card stuck in your deck that does nothing. Um, there are combos you can do with wounds. We don't have those yet. Um, and so I don't think it's... We chose flex. Get trunk. Yeah, evolve is how you do the wound decks. So it adds extra wounds into your deck. You upgrade it, and then you draw two every time you draw a wound, which means you upgrade faster. Uh, where can I get this game? It is on Steam. Upgrade all your cards for that's the combat. Um, do I have any curses in my deck? I don't. But I'm just going to upgrade all my cards over time anyway. I Apophis? Okay, Chad is so into Apophis, so... Um, yeah, I guess so. Whatever. Best card in the game? I have not played it enough. I feel like it's just like, eh. Okay, we can throw something to the purple spirits. They're really cute. Look at them in the background there. Uh, we can give them something. What's the worst card in our deck? I kind of want to try it with like a really good card, like a gold. Just because I've never seen what that does. Um, bludgeoned? I guess we could give him bludgeoned because it's not really... Uh, disarm or bludgeoned would be okay. We could also ditch the strike. Uh, heavy blade would be okay. See what a, let's see what happens if we give them something really nice. They might give us a good thing. Max HP plus 10. Yeah, alright. Because I've done it when you give them a curse and they give you a, a debuff that lowers your score at the end. Uh, by like one point. That's about it. It's not that bad. Uh, Shockwave. Everyone's weak. Uh, we're going to take some damage this turn. Which is unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it. Ooh, that's actually a decision uh, between Metal Size and Dual Wield. Dual Wield, uh, every time you get a uh, Body Slam, is pretty good. Metal Size does stack, and it's nice to just have, like, nine armor every turn without having to do shit. But, um, getting extra Metal Sizes, or getting extra stuff is nice. Heavy Blade, uh... Five times two is ten. Hmm. It's an interesting number. We can do that, because we're actually going to have enough strength in order to do this, so... I'm going to kill this guy first. I don't know really which one. I think this one's going to stop me from attacking next turn, which is hilarious. But, um... Mm, I think I'm going to go for this guy. Slaver stops you from attacking, but I don't attack. And I don't know what these other guys do. I think this guy does a shit ton of damage, so I'm going to go after him. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with that. Ghostly armor? Nah. Dual wield body slams. We haven't hit them yet. So that means they're drawing them on this one. Metal size. Dual wield. The body slams. And then the armor. The armor is so good. Headbutt to the body slam is nice, but I think we're going to skip it. He just debuffs forever. That's fine, then. He should die from here. Oh. That was the wrong one to choose, but oh well. This is better for a strength deck, by the way. Uh, two times four is not as good as three times four or five times four or whatever. Um, so if you're playing a strength deck, get Pummel. Otherwise, it's like, eh. Um, I'm going to get rid of him. That's why Apophis is the best card in the deck. I mean, I guess... <sighs> 
Is it really worth it to double up on it? Not really. Might as well. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Entrench. If I could only have entrench for realsies, though. Flame barrier into a weakened, so that way he can't actually do damage to me this turn. Get ghost. Ghost, flame, body slam. Armor. Hey, Kimmy Cat. Whenever you add an attack to your deck, it's upgraded. Cool. Good. Uh, I think we're fine. Alright, coastline, a headbutt, or infernal blade. Infernal blade just gives us random attacks every round, or every uh, combat. Headbutt allows us to pick an attack from our deck and make sure it's in the next hand. Uh, clothesline just provides weak, which is nice. Um, it's kind of like up in the air. I think that's an okay choice. Uh, attacking is not something we really do, but it doesn't hurt us. Okay. This one's great, because there's, like, this guy, and he apparently killed someone's pet. Today I, is the day I settle my score with the murder of my beloved pet, Noodles. Until then, you may not pass. Fellow witness, why don't you bet on who you think will emerge victorious? I'm not sure who I'm betting, but, um... Bet 50 gold, 70% chance to win, or bet, uh, 50 gold, 30% chance to win. Do we have any shops coming up? No, so we can we can bet a little bit more. We can we can risk it. Hey, I win. Cool. Scrads owner. For noodles. For the noodles. Uh healing would be nice. What does this do upgraded? Oh, it just costs less. Um <sighs> We got we got a combat with an elite coming up. I'd rather not be hurt going into it. Happy flower? Sure. Take it every single time. The noodles. Alright. Infernal Blade, what do we get? Reckless Charge? Fuck you. Uh, weak. And then just flex for the... You know, honestly, just flex for the sake of... Uh, Flexing. Do I want any of this? No. Take six damage. This is Vinny's Bane. We should actually do fairly easily against him. Uh, cause we're about to just armor the fuck up. Uh, so he's gonna stab a bunch, but we'll be okay. Uh, how are we on health? Next attack you were- Yeah, that's fine. Stab me a lot. Take damage. Does that feel good? Do you like that? This guy's actually pretty hard, and I'm, I'm really tired of having to deal with him on the regular, so... It actually feels really nice to just watch him kill himself on me. Like, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. It's gonna be in our next hand, which is not great, but... Oh well. All right. We're just gonna take a shit ton of damage here. The next two attacks are played twice. Um, I mean, I don't really want to feed because I can't kill him here. Um, take six minus three, three. Just run over there real quick and close the book. Vor the book, you has a question. You can't eat the book. Um, no. Hurts. Evolve. Oh, he is putting wounds in my deck. That's a good point. That would have been a smart choice. All right. 
The trench. This game is super good. <laughs> Get fucked. Ah. Uh, armor. Armor. Flexing. Styling on you. Styling on you. Styling on you. It is a rev meme. What about it? You usually gotta follow that up with a question. Just... Whenever I get a skill, I upgrade it. Nice. So all of these are gonna be upgraded. Spot the weakness. Good way of gaining strength quickly. Uh, Infernal Blade, we already have one, and it's like, whatever. Uh, Iron Wave gets us armor and does damage. I'd say... <sighs> Spot the weakness or iron wave, maybe? Also, the ethereal wolf. Thank you for the sub. It's very nice. This run is going to be exciting. Mysterious ass. This is going to be egg your band. No. Skip to keep the deck skinny. That's all right. Chose spot the weakness. Oh, wait. That was the elite. I was like, all right. We got an elite coming up, guys. Let's do this shit. And getting all ready for it. And then it was nothing. There's fucking nothing. Uh, upgrade metallicized or apotheosis? Hmm. These, these. No, but don't do that. Actually, let's upgrade body slam. Actually, no, let's upgrade apotheosis. Because that upgrades everything. Body slam probably was the better choice. Alright. Extra healing when you go to rest sites. Raise your max HP. Uh, Magical Flower. Healing is more effective during combat. That sounds like bullshit, but we are the Ironclad, which means that our Burning Blood is twice as effective. Or 50% more effective. So this turns from 6 to 9 uh, every every combat. Um, every time you play 5 cards in a single turn, deal 10 to all. It's not happening. Uh, dual Wield is the one that I'm really thinking about, and then ditch that strike. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have one strike left. Um, let's, let's get rid of this strike. I think that's right. <sighs> so that leaves us with a little bit. Dual Wields. It's on sale. I know. Regal Pelo. Is it worth it? The extra 15. I think we're okay. We're not taking a shit ton of damage, but you know what? We're not going to see another shop for a while. We'll have enough money to... I'm just going to go and buy it. Masks are cool. I like the mask guy. His favorite color is blue. Mine is black. All right. Spot the weakness. Flame barrier. Spot the weakness, by the way, does not consume itself, so if we see it again, we can just get more armor. It's great. I'm getting a little overconfident. Need to pay attention more. Um, metallicize. Uh, flex. Pummel strike, I guess? Oh, this guy's gonna try and entangle us. Let's, let's stop that. None of that shit. Uh, 14 or... Uh, we do no damage right now. Oh, we do 6 because we have... That's the other thing. Strength and armor and body slam go well together because it's doing 6. How, you say? I'm not doing any armor or I don't have any armor. It's because I have 6 strength, which means this is 6 for 0. It's great. That's a good point. Don't forget your potions. And then I guess you're disarmed, so get fucked. Uh, drop kick. We don't really have a way of doing vulnerable. Pummel is fine. Weakness is gonna be, or frail, that's what it's called, is gonna be an issue. Pummel. Let's just take some armor. It's probably best to just accept it. Impervious. Good with this deck. 
It's something I'd like to get. I'd also like to get Barricade before we fight the final boss. I think that would be nice. Dual wield, body slam. Impervious, body slam, body slam, body slam. It's like 90 damage, just shy. Uh, nah. I'd skip this one, man. Clash is good, but not for this deck. Havoc is good to make sure your deck is skinny, but our deck is pretty skinny for this stage of the game. It's not ultra skinny. I've, I've made it, like, five cards at this point, but... Um, and then Cleave is just awful. It sounds good, but... It's really not. Upgrade two random attacks. Nice. Nice. All right, what do we got going on? What needs upgrading? And do we need the heal? I do not feel like we need the heal. Um, Metallicize being upgraded would be nice because that way if we get it before we get apotho apotheosis, we're fine. We're getting that four armor instead. I think that's the way to do it. Time for the champion again. Let's see if we got the stuff to do it. Flame barrier. Flex. Go ahead and draw for free. Might as well. Shrug off. Might as well draw for free. Yep, two body slams. There's 50 damage right on the beginning. And then you take uh, an additional seven? It's good. Get fucked. Remember this motherfucker? Upgraded flame barriers are real nice. Yeah, that's true. Apotheosis. Metal. Dual wields. Do we want it? Not really. I mean, we can do it for free. Don't get me wrong, but... They don't really do that. It's just... Heavy Blade is just sort of in this deck. We need to either commit to adding more strength or just not do this. So, I'm, I'm done. Um... The music in this reminds me a lot of, like, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, to be honest. Warcry, not really doing it for me, to be honest. Um, dual wield on Body Slam. That's what it's about, man. Warcry, if any. Yeah, just to be able to get the draw power. Alright. What do I want to put on the top of my draw pile? I'd like both the spot the weaknesses, but I'm not going to be able to play both. On the off chance that it's free, it is, but it does damage to me. It's free, and that's the only reason I'm thinking about it, but I'd rather not take damage right now. Uh, let's skip that. That's not for this deck. Ethereal, deal 18. Eh. Just not worth it. Getting all this vulnerable is not good. Okay, that's disappointing. He's not planning to attack. He's not planning to attack. And then armor. Uh, Juggernaut for sure. Juggernaut would be a good card to get in this deck. Yeah, I was not ready for that turn. Dual wield, body slam. Flex. Shrug off. This fucking turn, dude. Look at that. Free damage. Demon form, sure. Hey there, how you doing? Hemokesis, that's all right. We don't really want that. A uh, heavy blade would be okay if I had not done that wrong. Uh, yeah, 
Disarm. Just continue to disarm him. Keep bringing his strength down. He's gaining his own strength back, because that's what he's doing on his turn, but... Cool. Flame Barrier is free and upgraded. 16 and 6 damage. Doing good now that I can make it to your damn stream. Uh, I'm sorry, man. So I can do uh, 20, or I can make him lose 2. I think we're going to make him lose uh, damage. I think that's better. Spot the weakness. Let's get some strength going. All this armor's got to go somewhere. And just the retaliatory damage is nice, but getting the more and more and the more and the more. Except for when he doesn't fucking do anything. This is so a wasted turn. This is a wasted turn. Rampage is fun. We need to get something like uh, that one that does seven for everything you remove. Yeah, the, the deck's starting to get flooded. I need to get rid of some stuff. Unless if it exhausts, in which case I'll take it. Double in my strength. I've got a um, demon form, yeah. So I'm gaining strength, that's good. Um, double your strength, sure. And then some armor, and then 21 damage. Why is it 21? Oh, I've got weakness, that's why. And then take three, nah, I'm alright. But, oh, but body slam. Nah, let's, let's not, because that body slam is not as good as our free one. Clears off all his negative effects and helps himself out. It's great, thanks. Uh, that's three less than 60, which is more than I've got. Flex, because we're a champion. Four damage, four health is not that good. Behemocidal, thank you for 13 months of support. It's very kind of you. Potions, they're not going to do enough right now. Shrug off, let's see what we get. Hmm. You had the kill with the heavy blade? Oh shit, did I? Fuck. I missed lethal? Really? That's bad. Especially because I'm, like, near death now. Here's 50 damage, though. And then another 20 plus another 10. Uh, take Warcry. I need 32 damage, game. Give it to me. 179 damage. Hold on. Um, uh, sorry, no, I gotta just, I gotta fantasize. There we go. So now I have enough to kill him, uh, almost three, or twice over. <laughs> so, that was demon form. That's a gold card. Let's see if we get it. Um, oh, barricade it is. Block no longer expires, so if, like, I have to armor on a turn that I don't see armor, mmm, mmm-hmm, -hmm. it's good shit. I highly recommend Barricade. Um, double Tap is okay, I guess. Offering is, is good conditionally, but it's just not as good as Barricade. Um, Jesus fuck Barricade right now. This is gonna get ridiculous. Looks like it's pretty slanted towards Barricade. I guess once it gets that slanted, I could just pick it. All right. I'm going to give you guys a second to stop pressing numbers and then uh, choose the chest. You guys ready for this? Uh, choose from four cards instead of three. Uh, you cannot play more than six cards in turn. You get an extra energy. I do not recommend it. Or if you die, you come back with 50%. Tail is pretty good. 
question card is okay. Uh, I would select between these two. This is not good. This is just an extra life. If you want it simple. This gives you another card to choose between each time we have to choose cards. Yeah, that's a good choice. It only works once, but um, getting some tail is a good choice. Oh, they changed this music. So we gotta fight that guy, the crow god. All right. I feel pretty good about what we got. I think I'm gonna go this way towards the shop and maybe hit up one more elite on the way home. At least it's not Time Eater. Time Eater we could still deal with with Barricade. It's something we could handle. All right, let's go and upgrade that right off the bat. Searing Blow can be upgraded any number of times. Yeah, all right. We'll do that for free. Rev Scarecrow versus the Crow God. You know what else is good? Curse Die. Can we look at your deck when we can? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Uh, skip. It's a very armor heavy deck. Let me give you a look at it once we get out of this combat. Actually, I didn't choose to add a card, so this is my deck. Uh, plus Apotheosis, uh, which is... Oh, this just shows my default deck. So a lot of defends, or three defends out of the original five. We got Bash, which we came with, struck off. A couple of Flame Barriers, Metallicize, Shockwave, Body Slam, Disarm, Pummel Strike, Heavy Blade, Body Slam, Flex, Apotheosis, Infernal Blade, we'll Spot the Weakness, Dual Wield, and Barricade. All right. Dual wielding the uh, body slam is a good idea. Because 16 damage is good, but 16 times 3 damage is even better. It's 16 times 3 better. Impervious is a card I'd like to get at some point. Game. Game. Nah, nah. This is a good meme. And we don't lose armor after the end of rounds anymore, so we can just flex through and then do 29 damage all of a sudden. Yeah, our deck's pretty, pretty fucking sweet at this point. Searing Blow can be upgraded a number of times. Wild Strike's not very good for this deck. Thunderclap's not very good for this deck. Um, it's all right. I, I think skipping or... Um, yeah, just skipping is all right. I've never seen Searing Blow get upgraded more than once. So it's not really good. Um, I would say skip. Searing Blow would be the only other option here. All right, skip it was. Lose all gold and gain a relic. We have a shop coming up pretty soon. I'd like to have some gold for it. Relics are about that much and we don't get to know what it is. I would, uh, I'd like to not. Find some potions, sure. It's too pricey. I think, uh, um, it's a nice little fact about this guy over here. He's got thorns like us, but, uh, we don't, uh, we don't get that shit. Um, when we get armor, it, we're fine. It always gives the red mask. What does the red mask do? Go ahead and gain some armor or strength, I mean. Always mask. And then flex just for silent on people. Demon form? Yeah. Enemies start battle with one week. That's really not worth it. It took some damage there. 
So what I'm going to try and do is just avoid attacking this guy for the first bit and see where we can get with it. Oh, what garbage is that? Flexes on the flex people. It's what you got to do, man. Applies three vulnerable and three weak to all enemies. I'm going to get an extra body slam. We're just going to body slam the shit out of the uh, explosive dude because we need to kill him faster because he does his damage regardless. Um... Could actually just and then we're gonna take some damage here which is unfortunate but uh can't really i mean i guess we could drop kick but drop kick is a great card just not in this deck our deck is too fat for a drop kick deck for a drop kick deck you want like that dual wield and um uh, the the mace i forget what it's called um Does Rev not know that killing the Exploder last causes him not to proc? Oh, that's interesting. Entrench is nice. If you're trying to get the achievements, I recommend getting all the cards first. Makes things a lot easier. Um... Now we wait. And just strength buffing because we like to. Limit break into a, uh, or flex into a uh, limit break is always good. We'll win this one without actually having to deal with it, but uh, unfortunately we also do have to um, deal with some bullshit. We gotta wait until we actually get a, a good card, like any sort of damage, or until he attacks into us. Every other turn he's gonna upgrade his thorns by two. Um... Yeah, I think 140, yeah, I mean, fuck guys, I'm not good at math. 4 times 162, is that more than 12? Like, can we handle the 11 damage he's going to do to our 140 armor? I don't know about this. I don't got it? Okay. Skip turn. <laughs> Body slam or fire barrier? Honestly, they're both good. Extra body slams would be nice, just so we can have a better chance of getting it. You have to teach us the numbers. I do. I'm sorry. Um, you do have to put in hashtag, uh, and then the number you want to pick if you want to pick something, just so you know. Skip is a valid option as well, just to make it so it's skinny, but body slam the fuck out of everything. Yeah, this is usually how I win with the, uh, the Ironclad, is just body slam into strength. Um, just a tanky sort of strength deck. Sure. Bash, that's what it is. Bash plus the other thing. Uh, dropkick. Bash plus dropkick is great. Whatever card is exhausted, gain four block. Yeah, just for the free thing, we might be able to get a thing. What the fuck is that thing? It's the mall. It's just a mouth. <sighs> Reaper might be okay, just because we're going to get four armor out of it and four health. I ended up going uh, infinite with uh, bash and drop kick. That's how I uh, ended up beating uh, you are nothing. I did it on the uh, the crow god we're about to do. Uh, it counts if you just beat the first form, by the way. Um, so we're gonna get no armor actually here. And get some like that, and then we can disarm him, and now he's doing nothing. Good. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. And you don't actually have to make your deck just bash and drop kick. 
Uh, you can make it uh, bash, drop, kick, and dual wield, and then just dual wield until you have enough to outclass the number of cards in your deck. Uh, as long as the number of cards in your deck is less than... Uh, it has to be like your hand size, which is five, plus however many upgrades to your hand size you have, uh, minus like two, or plus, minus two, yeah. And then you have infinite. Slock no longer expires at the end of your turn. Let's go and do that shit. Reckless charge. Not really a reason to do that. I mean, I guess we could, because he's not going to attack this turn, so we're going to lose the Reckless Charge anyway. It takes some damage here, but there's nothing really we can do about it. I'm not going to make myself vulnerable here. How's the game going so far? We are we are on path to win. You didn't miss the whole stream. We're doing uh with chat voting. So if you just got here, you can choose hashtag one, two, three, or four. In order to choose either one of the three cards or four is skip. Um, saw a guy who beat the game with dual wield and the uh, Zero cost things that deal five damage only. Um, Infernal Blade, I'm not really a fan of. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. We're, we're gonna try not doing that. Alright. Flame Barrier. Just to get the extra armor, and then dual wield the Rampage, I guess. Rampage is a great card, and I've made, like, a Rampage deck before, but, uh, not really what we're doing right now. I need to get Demon Form. I'd very much like to get Demon Form. Oh, hold on. Almost missed some damage there. It's like two, but whatever. Yeah, it's annoying that Rampage doesn't increase for all of them, but whatever. It's fine. It's, yeah, I mean, I've accumulated more than, yeah, but... Exhaust one card, draw three cards. That skinnies our deck so we can make sure to get stuff that's useful. Sometimes it's useful. I think skipping here is probably an okay choice. Uh, Intimidate is not really worth it. Cleave is garbage. It insists on giving us Cleave. I don't know why. It's like ultra common, I guess. Uh, Burning Pact is an okay choice. It's either Burning Pact or Skip. Burning Cat Pact does cost money, though. 20 is really the ideal number. That's a good point. Shogun Ryusha. Absolute magic. 22 months of support. Thank you, friend. Alright. We don't really need to heal, so what can we upgrade? Um... Barricade, what does that look like upgraded? Just cheaper. All right. And then Flame Barrier, you just do more damage. Uh, I'd like to get Barricade because the other ones we'll see again. And so we'll, we, we may not get the most out of the first run of it, but second time around, once we get Apotheosis going, that's great. With Barricade, that's not the case. These guys are annoying as shit. Shit. Um... Gain some body slams. Doing 15. Can get a little bit more. We can do 20. Uh, I'm actually not going to kill him this turn because if I do, he'll just come back and there's no real point in doing that. Extra barricade in here? Sure. Just get it a little earlier. This arm is good. It's not great, but it, it can be helpful. Especially because you can see it come through a few times. Uh, Pummel Strike, might as well, it's free. Um, Apotheosis, might as well. Ah, that's, that's why not, might as well. Maybe not. Okay, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. We're gonna take some damage this turn. Need to remember to do math before I just make decisions. All 
right. Barricade into armor, into heavy strike. Wait, hold on. There we go. Now we can start killing guys. Because they're all going to die from this. I think we're all right. This arm is good for what it does. I, it, you'd have to stack it quite a few times for it to be really useful, but it's okay, you know? All right, barricade, we can play for two in order to get something for free. It's really not worth it. Wild strike's really not worth it. Armor. You <sighs> have to. Apotheosis was a bad decision. The ability to upgrade it's just happening. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Um, I would say skip. I'll be right back. Gonna get some water. I'm back. What's the benefit of having two barricades? Um, just making sure it shows up in the stack. Alright. Looks like we skipped. It's a good idea. I think I'm going to take Heavy Strike out of the deck, and I think I have the money to do it. So I'm going to go and check and see what we got here. What do we got? Oh, lightning in a bottle. Is that a skill? Is Apotheosis a skill? It is. Most of the stuff in our deck is upgraded at this point, though. Like, almost all of it. Shockwave and two defends and the flame barricades aren't. Um, I either want to get rid of it or bottle it. One of the two. Uh, is there a better thing to lightning? Not really. But uh, Apotheosis upgrades your blocks for two. It's true. But I'm going to have... Have uh, one, two more campfires before the end. So I actually can't upgrade all of them uh, by the end of this. Am I being too loud? Okay. Tilda's got an early morning, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Um, spot the weakness. I don't think we really... Oh, yeah. Spot the weakness is also in there as well, right? Is that one upgraded? It's upgraded. Chat vote. It's between removing a card, gaining another metallicize, which should just give us more armor, or bottled lightning. And if we removed a card, I'd probably remove heavy blade, but we're starting to get things that'll allow us to use it. I think bottled lightning might be the trick. I'm not too concerned about my health. I don't think Bottle of Apotheosis is it worth it at this point. Do you think uh, maybe Metallicize would be better? Because I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of... I think I already said that. Uh, remove Kebab. Kebab? The fuck is Kebab? My Twitch is fuck. Metallicize? I think that's probably a better choice. And then... Um, No, it's been pretty good. <laughs> this is good, but not right now. Um, I'm tempted to get potions of block just to be able to stock up for the boss. Um, remove a card and get... Can remove one of the blocks. I know that sounds like a weird thing to do, but it seems like it might be worth getting. Because um, we are having ways of getting strength. And that actually has saved us. It saved us on the second boss, so... Um, I think I'll remove the weak block. 
Remove the- oh, the Infernal Blade is probably the one I want to get rid of, because it just adds garbage to our deck. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And then that leaves with a little bit of money. Do we have any other things? We don't have any other shops between here and uh, go time, do we? So uh, how about uh, we? How about we just leave it? Let's just go. It's okay to have a little money left over. Oh, peace pipe. Nice. We can now, instead of resting, uh, toke up and remove bad cards. <sighs> Not the block potion? Oh yeah, that would have been a good idea. Oh well. Hmm. See you later, Tide Pod. That's true. It's true. He is a Tide Pod man. We can smoke to get rid of something. Smoke, smoke. We can heal. We can upgrade. Might be worth upgrading the flame. Uh, whatchamacallits. Took the the peace pipe. Maybe get rid of another weak block. Doesn't sure uh, we're gonna get good things. A lot of the stuff that's like not that great does exhaust. You'd upgrade shockwave or metalli metallized. Um, yeah, metallized is good. Do you <laughs> the shock keep streams? There's a new shop keep coming out, but I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too into it, because they kind of just stopped development on the original one, and I don't feel like it's a full game right now, so it's kind of like, what the fuck, guys? A rest would probably be uh, worth doing at some point. Um, it's probably good to weaken these guys. We'll be fine, don't worry. Watching Rev for ass passerbys on the street. I need to get back into that. I need a game like that, for reals. Metallicize. Shrug. Dual wield. Just give me that armor. Gaining 16. And go and kill that guy and he only does nine so might as well are we gonna win I think so uh, it's looking pretty good right now I'd like to find another my summer car uh, I'm a little bit concerned about um, I was a little I'm a little concerned about the new updates to my summer car Weakening is probably good. And then body slam, I guess. I'm not I'm not a fan of that play. And trench is probably good. I need to get that barricade up. But uh, I wanted to make sure that I had enough. It does have that something that's hard to find in other games. But the upgrades to um, my summer car have been pretty uh, pretty brutal. Double your current block, which is none. Pummel strike. Let's do that. Flex, because I can. And then armor, because again, I can. No point in armaments now. Fire breathing, just because it's one to get a free thing, so that makes it free. It's, uh, it's not a card I'd actually put in my deck, but it's essentially free some other card. So as long as that other card is at least one cost... And it chooses ones that are one cost. So, um, Bash is now free. Nice. Uh, Flame Barrier. Hmm. It's gonna suck dick, isn't it? Um, might be worth it just to kill off some of these other guys first. Or just wait. Yeah. 
That's going to hurt. I need to be able to kill him last now because he's going to be doing too much. And people have told me that now I can just sort of uh, armor through this shit. So I think I'll do that because there's not really a reason not to. Um, and then that guy does 13 now. Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, we're all right. <sighs> he, if he kills himself on me, that's gonna that's gonna hurt me, isn't it? Shit. Shit. Twenty one. All right, later, Baxter. We're in a bad spot right now. Yep, that hurt. Just build your armor for a while. Think, think that. Don't think that's gonna happen. Let's, yeah, maybe just build the armor for a while. Actually, we have enough to lethal him, so we'll just do that. I need a heal at the next place. All right, what is it? True grit. Get rid of some cards in my deck. Uh, so the deck skinnier, body slam, you've seen the purpose of, and then corruption, which is probably a bad choice for this deck. Um, multiples of any card is never bad, unless if the card's shit, but body slam is kind of the key mechanic right now. We've got a pretty decent block deck going. Um, true grit would allow us to get rid of cards that are just useless, or, um, sometimes you get cards that are, um, like curses and stuff like that, or wounds. Body slam it is. Maul counts as a regular ass enemy? Shit, dude. Might as well pummel. Uh, shrug off. Might as well. Strength up. And then, do we want to weaken or do we want to flame barrier? Uh, weekend means he does less damage. Gotta do the flex. You have to flex. You have to flex on people all of the time. Um, nah, that's good. Getting that weekend off is probably good. 25% less damage is nicer than you think it is. Let's do all of the things, because why not? Uh, we're gonna take some damage this turn. Flame. I'll take one cost powers because it means that we get something else for free. Might as well. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what his plan there is. Doing. I don't know what I can exhume at this point. I'm trying to think of what we could exhume. Not a lot, right? I think we're all right. I mean, if you want to do six damage to yourself, that's fine. It's weird play. Barricade. That's good. So now when we're using Metallicize, we're going to get some uh, regardless. And then we got that going, so we got some armor as well. Let's get this, because we might as well do damage, even if it's not a lot. Five, if this is exhausted, gain two. Whenever you play a skill exhausted, exhaust all non-attack cards. Don't think I have a way to deal with any of that. Five armor is not really that great. This game really wants you to play an exhaust deck, for sure. But, um, it's just not as good. Armor? Armor. 30? 30. Uh, and then we'll try and defend pass. Heavy blade is probably not that bad. Take one damage this turn. He'll take three. All right. Dual wield the body slam. Might as well. And then 64 damage, because might as well. And then death. Because I know math. Metallicize, Warcry, or Cleave. Cleave is garbage. Warcry would allow us to skip through our deck faster. And then Metallicize allows us to... Sack our armor even more. 
for free. Uh, right now we have about eight a turn. We could get, uh, what is that, 11 a turn if we have block or uh, metal size. This is a 100% pick ratio right now for chat. Um, that's insane. One guy deviating from the norm. It'll be 12 because auto upgrade. That's true. Oh, it's not auto upgraded though because it's a uh, whatchamacallit. So we can either go through a guy and then I think I'm going to go through here. The worst case scenario is that's the one that causes you to drop things. Oh look, it's the one that makes you drop shit. Lose defend plus metallicize or heavy blade. Well, not metallicize, so um, uh, we can lose the defend or the heavy blade. I feel like we only have one heavy blade, and the defend is um, no metal gear today. Sorry, yeah, the thing won't change. Uh, defend, I feel like, is the easy choice. Yeah. All right, we're gonna heal on the last one just because I don't think there's anything left to upgrade. Apotheosis, yay! Armor, everything is free. Everything is awesome. Fuck you, fuck you. That's not that great. Damage equals defend, though. Yeah. You changed the title on your end, Mafa. That's weird. That's not doing it. All right, flame barrier, so that way we don't die. And then defend so we don't die. We should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Not a fan of this. Um, oh, God. He protects. He protect more. But most importantly, he protect. Um... Oh, shit. Flexing on you. Ow. Thirty two damage this turn. These guys are assholes. They might kill me. I definitely need the, that heal now. Jesus fuck. Um, okay. Defend, because we gotta. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward turn. Double that, and then we get enough to kill this guy. And then we live. Oof. Not really worth it. Fire potion is fine. We don't need it. We do have the lizard tail. I'd rather not use it. Um, we're going to have to use the lizard tail. There's nothing we can do about it aside from just uh, take the damage here. No, we survived the damage because we've got the... I don't know why I keep forgetting about the armor. Dual wields! Yay! It's like, you gotta use it. Um, true Grit, I'm gonna use just to get rid of those flame things. Because they're gonna kill me. Alright. Oh, fuck. Alright, 18... Four plus eighteen is twenty two plus twelve is not enough. It's hitting harder and harder. I think I've got this though. I can do that. Oh fuck. Um We get a chance at getting rid of do 12. Yeah, I just got to get him within range of the fire potion. And then he's dead. There we go. Have we splayed any spires? We're about to. Bottled flame. Upon pickup, choose an attack card. 
I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what this is first, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll see if we want to bottle whatever that is. I can't imagine what we want to bottle aside from a... What what could we even bottle? It's got to be an attack. Like, body slam? But I don't know if I want it first turn. It's like the only attack we have right now. Alright. I'm gonna, um... Let's see what this is first. Oh, fuck. It's all garbage. Um... Yeah, skip that shit. Maybe bash? Maybe. I mean, none of this is really all that useful. The thunderclap is gonna provide vulnerable, but we already have ways of doing that. We're not even doing that. Twin strike is good in a strength deck, which we kind of are. Uh, bloodletting is is suicidal at this point. The extra... It's just not good. That's not what we do. Bottle heavy blade or pummel? Heavy blade or pummel? Pummel might be good just to be able to get the card draw going. Because we could for sure get what we want. Yeah, let's do pummel. The body slams seem good, but then when you actually think about it, we probably don't have the armor. And I don't want it the first turn, because if I get it the first turn, then I can't probably use it as well as I could second or third turn. So it's better just to wait. Pummel, ensure that we get something. We might be able to pummel into stuff fairly regular. Yeah, and I don't have ways of gaining strength. You're right. I'm gonna rest, get the 15 plus uh, half. Final boss time. Let's do this shit. It's best to take out these guys first, in my experience. No, let's skip that. I could style on that guy, but I don't really wanna. Nah. We're gonna survive this attack fair, fine enough. Whenever you play a power, it gains two strength. We don't play that many powers. We play a few. Um, we might have to style on that guy. Uh, 8 plus 8 is 16, not 18. Might as well drink that. I'm just gonna kill him. Nah. He's going to gain a lot of armor. <sighs> I was hoping that the heavy blade would be free, but it's not. Um, we can dual wield it, though. That's not doing us any good. Uh, whenever a card is exhausted, gain four. Not exhausting that many cards. Disarm is fine. Oh, fuck. We just lost. No, we've got the tail, but Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. That was bad. I'm sure that that's free. It's pretty close to rip, if not rip. I need to get some healing going. Or this guy needs to die, one of the two. Okay, that's enough to kill him. We'll survive this hit, and we can start focus firing. Donut is one of the easiest ones. Yeah, Time Lord is the one that kills me most of the time. I think this one's one of the easier ones. It used to be a lot easier, but... Um, 
it's fine. All right, nine times four, that's 36. It's okay to over armor at this point because we have barricade going. Yeah, if you, I think it figures out what your deck is and tries to pick a boss that's good against that. I don't, that's the conspiracy in me, but I believe that that's true. It seems like it is. All right, so do I wanna do 34 or 28 times two? 28 times two, so that way I take less damage and it's not as bad as all that. Okay. And we can keep weakening him. Anytime we get the option to lower his strength, it's good. This arm. Yeah, just bring his weakness down. There is a point in drawing cards when you don't need them, just so you know. Uh... The casino is strong in this one. There's only a limited number of in bosses, and it does seem to choose the one that's strongest against whatever you pick out. So, I don't know. 32, uh, 36, we're fine. Do 40 damage in return. No. Just try and armor through this as much as possible. I'm gonna try and one-shot him once we actually get to the point that he's gonna convert into his final form. If you haven't played this before, he does have a final form. Once you get him down to his last, then he, uh, he comes back at you twice as strong. Choices, basically to one-shot him here. And then he's gonna armor. Okay, I think we're okay. He gets back a lot of his stuff by doing this. I don't think he gets any of the uh, weaknesses that you put on him though. Okay. Okay. Boom, da boom, da boom. Get wrecked. He doesn't have that ability anymore. That's nice. Um, double your current block. That's nice. Metallicize is nice. All these. This is. I think Entrench is going to be better. This That attack kills a lot of people who first fight him. Because they're not expecting it to go down to that. They're like. They squeak by in that last attack. And they expect that it's over. And then it's not. All right, Juggernaut. We got super lucky. Nah, we 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 skilled this man. We skilled this hard. We chose what we were doing and we kept with it. We're gonna take a decent chunk of damage this turn, but I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Aside from, like, almost kill him. We actually, I think, do kill him? No. Very close, though. Can we style on him? We can style on him. Good game. That lizard tail was a really good choice, y'all. Good run, everyone. GG. Well played. You've done 6,000 damage. Do about 200, 300 each time. Just for reference on how many times I've beaten this game. Um, and there's been over two, was that billion damage done? Victory?
That's game. Lizard Tail is always a good buy. Yeah. I did 500 this time. That's true. Anyway, um, that is Slay the Spire with Twitch integration. And y'all actually gave me good cards, so thank you so much for that. Um, good job, everyone who made this game. You did good. Joining into my victory, yes. Is someone going to kill that thing at some point? I think you don't. It'd be interesting, but, you know. He did this, chat did this. Will the heart ever die? Who knows? I wonder if they'll ever actually do that. Kind of beat the game. Like, if you ended it like that, maybe once the full release, who knows? I mean, that is the heart of the Spire. It's the name of the game, Slay the Spire. And imagine once it breaks the number thing, like once the, uh, the number gets too long, they might just say, all right, it's over. What would be your prediction as to what would happen if someone killed it? I don't know. I really hope they record it if they do. Are they just going to do three more floors? Who knows? Um, I, I don't... Yeah, there could be like a stack overflow thing. So I would imagine it would be like at that level. Yeah, the only person to get the kill animation is going to be someone who's not streaming it. What do you want to bet? And everyone's going to be like, what the fuck? The game doesn't work anymore. And then some random dude who never admits that it's him is going to get it. And then whoever actually, like, all the other people are going to say they did it. But the Spire is a multi-hearted being, though. It's entirely possible. The game uninstalls itself once it collapses. I would imagine there is going to be a global damage point. Who knows? I think unlocks will probably happen. I think the length of a single run is fairly reasonable. It's about two hours. An hour and a half. Somewhere in that region to beat this game. But probably not during early access, no. Uh, they want to make sure that this thing works well. Make sure that the game isn't bullshit. Um, no art today from the looks of it. I can't really imagine what you would draw here. Um, but that's the game. Thank you guys for, uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there you go. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Subnut win. I'm trying to, like, kind of not stream Subnut too, too much because I'm trying to work on a, a special thing. But, um, uh, you would flex. I mean, yeah. Just, like, a pile of, like, shields on top of a guy and there's, like, one buff muscle uh, flexing heroically out of it. It's filled with knives. Um, but yeah, there's a thing coming with subnut. So the more I stream it, the harder it gets. Um, but I do need to do some subnut soon because I am enjoying that. That's kind of like the, the game that I'm working on, um, outside of my summer car, which again, like they upgraded it. So that way, like everything that I have right now is broken and all of the parts are somewhere else. So I'm going to have to like cheat in order to make it so that way it works. Cause there's literally no way, um, Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Any hints to this thing, uh, said thing? Um, no. I can't think of a good hint that doesn't just give it away. Uh, it involves Subnautica. There you go. There's your hint. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to check and see if anyone else is live on Vinesauce.com, the site I stream for, along with a bunch of other people. It looks like no one is. Um, so I'm going to go to bed. Well, at least eat. I'm going to eat now, I think. And then uh, and then maybe go to bed. Um, Tilda has a late or early morning. Um, I wonder if it has something to do with art. It does not, actually, as much as you would think. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom. 
And uh, I'm going to leave now. I don't know why I needed to tell you that. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to go. Artcade, youtube.com slash C slash Rev Scarecrow. Artcade. Capital R, capital A. See you guys later. Bye.